Here we're gonna go over a few percent problems, and we're gonna use the fact that the percent of a whole is the part. So in this case, of means multiply, and is means equals. So we're gonna use the fact that percent of a whole is the part to identify the percent, the whole, and the part, and know that we're, we're not gonna know one of those numbers, so we're gonna use a variable instead. Then we're gonna substitute it into this formula and then solve for the variable. So let's go over a couple of examples. So first this says, what is 30% of six? So obviously 30% is the percent, and then remember, percent of a whole is the part. So when you see the word of, know that the next number is the whole. And then we don't know the part, so we'll call that P. Now let's substitute these into this formula. And to solve this one, all we have to do is multiply 30% times 6. And we get 1.8. Let's try another. Here it says six is what percent of eight? So first I pick out the percent. We don't know the percent in this case, so let's call it P. And then remember percent of a whole equals the part or is the part. So I see the word of, so that means eight is the whole. So six must be the part. So now let's substitute these numbers into the formula. And now we can solve. To solve for P, I'm gonna undo this multiplying by eight by dividing by eight. And when we do that, we get 0 0.75. But we need to change this to a percent because it's asking what percent. And so this is the same as 75%. Let's try one more. Here it says 21 is 75% of what number? So obviously 75% is the percent and I see the word of here again. Remember, percent of the whole equals the part. So this is our whole. Since we don't know what it is, let's call it W. And then 21 must be our part. Now that we know the percent whole and part, let's substitute it into the formula. Now when you're working with equations, it's good to not have percents. Let's convert that percent to a decimal. So I just take off the percent symbol and divide by 100. Because percent means per 100. And you get 0 0.75. So let's change that to 0 0.75 times W equals 21. Now to solve for W, I can divide both sides by 0.75. And when you do that, you get that W equals 28.